Today we're going to prove that the ratio of the long end to the short end of all A size papers are root 2. So in this case you can see that in this example we have an A4 size paper and if you imagine folding it in half you can get two similarly sized A5 papers and this is true for all A size papers that if you fold it in half you get A whatever number you have currently just add it with one. So if you start with an A2 paper, for example, and if you fold it in half, you get like an A3 size. And if you fold it in half again, you get the A4, and subsequently for all other A size papers. So the fact that we're going to use now is that fact, that every time you fold it in half, the ratio between this long end over here, which we're going to call A, to this short end over here, which we're going to call B, is root 2. And we're going to prove that by using the fact that you fold it, it's going to give you the same ratio between the long and the short end. So now if you look at this diagram here of the A4 and A5 sheets, we can see that we can break it up to the long end and the short end. And subsequently for the A5 sheets, you can see that this is now the long end and this is the short end. So the fact that every time we fold an A size paper in half, the ratios between the long and the short always stay the same. We can say that the ratio for the A4 sheet of paper, this whole thing over here, where the long end A over the short end B will be the same as the ratio between this A5's long end, which is B now, over the short end, which is half of A from the diagram. So now that we have this equation out here, we know that we can move all of the A's to one end and all of the B's to the other end. So moving all of the A's to this bit, we have half of A squared equals to B squared. And now we move this fraction out of the way, trying to make it a little bit nicer. We have 2B squared on this end. And now we look back and see what we're looking for. So we wanted the ratio of the long end to the short end and that's A over B. So we try to move it to one side such that it looks like A over B. So we have A squared over B squared equals to two. And now since we have the square, we might as well just square root it. So now if we take A squared over B squared and we take the square root of that, we can say that this is equal to the square root of two as well. But when you do take the square root, you have to be careful of the minus signs. But since in this case we're dealing with length and we know that they're always going to be positive, we can just leave it as that. And similarly for this side, you can also leave it as that because A and B are always going to be positive in this case. So taking the square root of A squared over B squared, we simply have A over B. And this is just root of root of 2. And Hence, we've come to the conclusion that the ratio between the long end to the short end is square root of 2.